Okay guys, here we are, and uh, here at one of our fine little water store seed pumps here, a train. This was the little train that couldn't quite get back on track, uh, just like that. <coughs> we, um, the compressor, it wasn't looking good. Uh, you saw the compressor before, and as a matter of fact, it's still right over there. But. Uh, it was not good. Um, I, I recovered the thing down, got the, tried to get, you know, uh, you know evacuate, get all the junk out of there. Uh, moisture, namely, being junk in this case. Um, and it did not seem to work out too good. Uh, for whatever reason, I put the dryer in here and it lasted another month or so and then it, uh, it bit the big one. So that was a picky tenant, so they had to replace it real quick. But um, we're going to re we're refurbishing this unit, basically making it all new. Um, the condenser coil had these sticked up steel hoses on it. Um, so I said, if we're going to refurbish this unit, we really need to replace every component inside of it. And uh, that is including the expansion valve and the evaporator coil. Now, that's what I've been working on for a minute here. You can see I got my test T's raised into my coil here. In there. And uh, that's just on the equalizing port. I guess I could just bring that shot. Oh, well. um, anyways. Um, but this joint right here is a very, very special thing. This is a tubing manifold. It's brass. As you can see, you got all the capillary tubes sweated in there. And this stub on the expansion valve is copper. Very thin copper. And this is very thick brass. That was an interesting joint. I um, ended up with using the 56% uh, brazing rod with uh, good old stay silver. And it was an epic battle. It leaked many times, and uh, but eventually I got got the heat, the heat uh, right, whatever. And I busted out the big old rosebud torch. I think finally did it. Well, big old Froxy at this, this kit, I guess. Um, and that seemed to do it. So, uh, so there's my new evaporator coil. And I'm just uh, holding, hasn't dropped any. That's nice. Um, I was just getting the tiniest little pinholes leaks, pissing me off. But anyway, so we're going to slam a new compressor in this thing. We got a new reversing valve. Tried to do that in the ceiling, and then was, at that point, we were decided it was better to, better to place the unit and refurbish this one on the ground where it was easy. Um, so. And we got a new condenser coil, new evaporator, new expansion valve, new reversing valve, new compressor. Man, it's gonna be a new unit. This is just a, this is just a sheet metal box. But uh, anyways, so I'm gonna let that sit. It's about lunchtime for me, and uh, I'll let that sit. Think about what it's then. And when I come back, I'm hoping I'm gonna see pretty little 150 right on there when I get back. I think I will. I don't think there's any more room for leaks anymore. As you can see I have plenty of plenty of filler rod on there. But that is a tough joint, guys. I, I am not. Anyways, more later. All right, well, let's do it here. Got a condenser coil in. Got a reversing valve assembly sweated in there. Have to make some new fittings down there. The uh, Oh, either suction or hot gas, depending on cycle. That right, line goes down here. Uh, the connection's over here on the coil. I look at the line. Turn it again here, so I'll short up. Okay, got everything. All this backside fitted up here. We're not gonna talk about that plastic there. That's not gonna pick anything. How nasty is that silver solder joint though, guys? That just looks bad. Oh, it's sealed. I don't worry about that. But, uh, got everything all fitting up here pretty good. Right there, uh, that side of the reversing valve in. And then I have to tee off of here, make kind of a suction side manifold of sorts. I need to get the equalizing tube in there, I need to get a low pressure service port in there, and I need to get a, uh, a low pressure switch in there. So I'm gonna kind of stuff all that in there and crimp it down and raise it shut. It'll be as good as I can do, I think. 
And we'll go from there. Okay, guys, I think I finally got it. <clears throat> um, I ran out of nitro, so I could only get about 50 pounds on there for tonight. But uh, for a slow leak, even I think that would uh, that will show up by tomorrow. I had some problems with these joints here. There, uh, this isn't the factory reversing valve, and so I ordered a three-ton reversing valve. And of course, Train doesn't do three-quarter lines on their three tons; they go up to seven eighths. So for whatever reason, obviously not necessary. But I didn't. I didn't engineer either. So and, uh, listen, hard pipe. I did not have any soft copper. Um, yep. So hopefully it holds pressure. Got your oh, got my high pressure switch right there. If I have any leaks, I would suspect it'll be at those. So I got a high pressure switch there and a low pressure switch right here. Covered them up to so I didn't melt them. I was bringing them in. Uh, anyways, so we'll see what happens. We'll catch you tomorrow. Alright guys, now we're in a proven leak free and a pressure test. And uh, back to the front, we're pumping away here, we're down to 800 solar microns. So on. So we'll let it down. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, it's about lunch time for me. I'm gonna let this thing go ahead and uh, evac itself on down. Nothing can't hurt nothing by go, go extra good evacuation, I would say. Seven, seven eighty, seven sixty, keeping, keeping, keeping. It'll get there. And then remember kids, down to 500 at least, and then if you get no rise above 1,000 after you're isolating your pump, no rise after 1,000 in 10 minutes I think, then you're on a tight system, which I think we will find here today. So, we'll see what happens, and I uh, should be charging it up next. Unfortunately, I don't get to see this thing run. I'll put the panels back on. I'd really like to test run it before we put it in the ceiling, but I do not have that luxury. Somebody else is going to install it later today, so I'm going to make sure she's real nice for me. So, see, that'll be about it. I might get a video recharging it. I might not. So, if this is the last, then the you know, super evac system working away there. That is a good buy. Now, it's taking a while for the microns, and sometimes it just depends on the system. It'll pull it down pretty quick normally. Uh, but you talk about inches of vacuum. This uh, this pulls it down to you know via 30 inches or 29 point whatever inches of vacuum in seconds. It's sweet. So 